Welcome all you party people. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and today we're going to be counting down the top five thrift finds we found this week. Let's get into the list. Alright, let's get it started with number five. We have this 1990, it says it right down here, Caterpillar Industries Cat Power Single Stitch T-shirt on a uh, Hollowbeck brand tag. Uh, this thing is super thin, super dope, again, single stitch. Um, I haven't found anything like this um, anywhere on the internet, uh, but it's super cool. Love that cool uh, silhouette of the excavator there. Uh, my son would really love this t-shirt, uh, though it will not fit him. Um, Caterpillar, vintage Caterpillar stuff is pretty hip and pretty cool. Uh, so this t-shirt should do pretty good. Now here at number four, uh, we have this t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt with the spell out of America on it. And it's an American flag. And you might be going, well, that's not all that particularly interesting. What's why is this number four? Why is it over that dope, you know, caterpillar t shirt? Well, that's because this is a Stanley DeSantis tag. You can see back here, it has, it's really cute little stay out pat, don't go out past 11 or something like that. This Stanley DeSantis tag is a fairly iconic, uh, rare tag to find. Um, a lot of the biggest, most valuable vintage t shirts have Stanley DeSantis tags. Uh, that six thousand uh, dollar, you know, I think what was it, a Aladdin T-shirt uh, hat was a Stanley DeSantis tag. Uh, so they're particularly rare and sought after. This is obviously not the most crazy design and most in-demand design, but it does have a tag, so it still has a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, demand and interest. So I just thought it was cool. It's the first Stanley DeSantis tag I've actually ever found. Uh, so that was pretty dope. That's why it's at number four. All right, coming in at number three, we have this vintage Woolrich 94% wool blend uh, Navajo print parka. Uh, you can see it's pretty long. Uh, it's women's uh, and it's uh, pretty exceptional. Uh, these types of patterns do really well. The Southwestern native patterns almost always do well. Um, obviously, like Ralph Lauren is famous for it, and there's some other ones. Uh, Pendleton has some really great ones. Woolrich is a little bit down on that list, but still, this is really good. Um, we should see a hundred to hundred and thirty dollars for this particular piece. Uh, it's an exceptional one. All right, here at number two, we have a familiar face. You've seen these on the list before. This is a vintage Levi's denim type three trucker jacket. Um, it is a trucker jacket from the 70s. You can tell that it's a Type 3 trucker jacket from the 70s because it does not have the pockets. In 1980, uh, they added these uh, hand warmers for the Olympic team and they kept it on the design ever since. Uh, the ones from the 70s do not have the pockets, uh, so you can be pretty confident that this is from the 70s. Uh, it's not big E or anything that would have been great. It does have some really nice distressing. Uh, just gives it a lot of character. Uh, picked this up at a local flea market. Uh, well, not really terribly local, but yeah, local enough. Uh, really love this one. Uh, I love finding these. Can't have enough of these. They're great. All right, now at number one, we have another t-shirt. And this is an Atlanta Braves tie-dye tee. But what makes it special is this is the liquid blue. This liquid blue was a 90s uh, printing company. They made some amazing t-shirts and they are always in demand. Uh, this thing is sick and it's like a, what size, XXL, extra large. Um, I believe it's in a single stitch. So great t-shirt. Uh, was, it was a thrift store that I was really bummed at because so far there had nothing been, I was about to walk out and there was nothing to buy. And I just so happened to come across this one little rack with this guy on it and very happy that I found it. It's in great condition. Uh, I don't exactly know the price, but it should be 50 plus uh, from my experience. It could be all the way up to 120. I think it's probably where it would potentially tap out. I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, but from what I remember, I haven't done a lot of research on this particular piece yet, but from what I recollect, it's about that price. All right, so that's it for the list. 
Leave a comment your favorite item of the five below. Uh, let us know if you're interested in buying. Let hit us up. We'll uh, work something out. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.